we have made it to Savannah. Apparently, these are the best chicken fingers in the where it originally. Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. And for the last 45 days, we've been traveling from our home state of New Jersey to Key West, Florida, while visiting every coastal town along the way. In the last episode, we explored Charleston and its surrounding areas. Today, we leave Charleston, heading south towards Savannah, Georgia, to try the local menu. Good morning, everybody. We are leaving Charleston today. We are parked back on the water, which is just still an incredible spot where I'm very grateful for this last it's night we spot. went to Darling's Oyster Bar on King Street and it was delicious we're not really oyster people but we tried them and I thought they were really good Taylor thoughts they're okay I mean I guess for oysters they were good but I don't really have much to compare to I would, they don't really taste like anything, so... I would get them again. But... The, the place Darlings is really, really nice. The clam strips are out of this world. Incredible. They're made... They're fried, and then they're made in, like, this Thai sauce with this aioli on the side. Mm, they are so, so good. And you can try the clam fries. What were they called? Chowder fries. Chowder fries. Those were also pretty good, but the... The clam strips definitely take the cake. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So now we're headed to the live oak, angel oak tree. Angel of, it's not called that. A really big tree. We'll check it out. And then we're making our way south. We got a cold front coming and it's going to be like 30 degrees on Monday night. And I'm not looking forward to it. So I Kevin hope, isn't dreading this cold front. I hope our S bar is excited to go to work for a angel while. Angel oak tree. Angel oak tree, yeah. The oldest oak tree. I don't know about that. So we are almost at the tree here and we're going down this gravel road and again That's with gravel roads, potholes, your cabin tree rattles around. So it's nine o'clock and the gates aren't open. <laughs> I'm telling you, I read somewhere 9.30. The sign says right there, 9 to 5. These people read the sign too. Alright, so what do we think of the tree? It's 400 years old. It produces shade over 17,000 square feet. Really? Yeah. Its longest branch is 187 wow. feet. The width of it is 28 feet, which I'm curious how that compares to sequoia. I think I remember how big those are. Yeah, the circumference, I guess, or the perimeter is 28 yeah. feet. Wow. Um, yeah. Really cool. It's real. It lived to get to 900 years old, so it technically could have another. Yeah, it's expected to be years. 500 years old, I think. Yeah. I think if you're in the area of Charleston and you want to check out James Island, then definitely stop and check it out. It only takes like 10 minutes to view it. It's like a 20 minute drive from Charleston, but I'd say it's pretty cool. I would do it. It competes with the sequoia. I mean, I think sequoias are definitely It's weird because the sequoias are so but, high, and, and that one is so, right. like, everything is so low. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's hollow inside. All of its limbs are hollow, which yeah, is just out of control, I think. And that explains why I was able to stand in the one at uh, Boone Plantation. It's kind of nuts. Off to Georgia, next date. made it to Savannah. We are going to a Christmas boat parade. We're just going to check out the area around the river tonight um, to explore a little because it's supposed to rain the next few days so that yeah. stinks. Presents are wrapped there under the tree. It's Christmas for you and me. Shopping is done and the cooking is through. 
What do we think of the boat parade? Oh, it hasn't started yet, but it's packed Or the here. Christmas market, yeah, it's a zoo. Oh, the Christmas market is so nice. The area down there in front of the JW Marriott is so, so well, well designed. Yeah, and decorated, it's awesome. Um, but there are a crap ton of people here. Yeah. And everyone's just walking around aimlessly. Yeah. Kids are just running with no parents around. But it's a nice night out. COVID though does not exist here. A room of happy children and shouts of glee. But since they're all dreaming of what Santa will bring, it's Christmas for you and me. This praline free sample is amazing. So I got the world famous pralines from, I forget the name. I think it was called Savannah Candy Company or Savannah, something like that. Savannah Candy Company, who makes their own saltwater taffies. Mm. Okay. This praline, it's like hard fudge. It is one of the best things on the planet. After 40 minutes, the parade has finally started. And they're really far away. I have bad eyes so I can barely see them. But at least it started. Yep. Okay, so I have a theory that the boats are very far away because they're doing a loop and they're going to go real close. Once they get past the Christmas market, they're going to come around and then come right close to the dock or the, what would you call it? The dock the or dock the sidewalk. Or the sidewalk, where everyone's standing. Because they're just way too far right now. Pour a cup of coffee and we'll light up the tree. It's Christmas for everybody. But after the unwrapping is all done, oh, you know that they'll be sleeping by half past one. I bet you that we'll both follow their lead. We'll curl up on the couch and fall fast asleep. Even though tomorrow's just another day of the week. Apparently, these are the best chicken fingers in the, where it originated. Yeah. The original chicken finger. The original chicken finger. We got them with buffalo sauce. They come with plain or different dipping sauce. Pressure buffalo lovers. And fried potato spuds or something like that. Alright, can you grab one so we can try it at the same time? Yeah. I'm so full. The ranch is good. Good morning guys. We're at Tybee Island today, just about 25 minutes outside of Savannah. And we came to check out the beach town, which is a really small town, but it's a little windy and pretty cold outside. So we're not really going to be able to appreciate the island because we can't really enjoy the weather and we'll, and we may have to visit this place again. This man will try and speed my mind. It's hard to find your way without a light. If you guys find trash on the beach, do me a favor and throw it out. I hate that. Oh, someone was getting a little freaky. Seriously though, how hard is that? Do not litter. Especially on the beach. So we came down at the south inlet. It's a little less windy. It's protected by all the trees right here. So let's check it out. I love these little signs. Kind of rough out there. Really rough. 
Found Taylor Street, so I'm trying to find a decent surf spot here. And on Taylor Street, on the north side of the island, there's a jetty. And jetties usually block uh, when it's really windy and the ocean's really choppy and really rough. Jetties can stop that and make it cleaner and better for surfing. So here's a jetty on Taylor Street Beach. And uh, let's see how the waves are right now if anyone's surfing. So we got a couple surfers all the way down there, but it doesn't really look that clean. There's the jetty. So the wind right now is blowing completely onshore, which means the wind is coming from the ocean onto the beach, causing the waves not to be good for surfing. There were two people out on the other side of the jetty, but it's just not worth it and a little cold to go out right now. in Savannah we are walking through a park with one of the oldest fountains maybe the oldest fountain I'm not quite sure in Savannah it is from the 19th century so we're gonna check it out maybe walk around a bit this park's really nice hoping it doesn't rain it hasn't rained yet so we're trying to seize the day knock on wood I guess I have to knock on a tree now <laughs> go for it Dancing with you under cotton candy skies Got me feeling like I'm on a sugar hut I could spend forever in your paradise It's just us tonight On a sugar high Never really was a sweet time Wow, what is that? That's the Armstrong house Wow. And then suddenly I met you. Now I'm mesmerized. So the sidewalks and even some areas of the street are made out of oyster shells. Yeah, it's crazy. Who knew that that's even uh, strong enough to support it? And here we are at Rainbow Row in Savannah. We're at Rainbow Row in Savannah. How cute. How did I survive without dancing with you under cotton candy sky? You got me feeling like I'm on a sugar high. Home of the original chicken finger. And boys, that chicken finger delicious. Just me. Parallel parking, the big 170, like it's, like it ain't no thing. Basically, I drive this and park this thing like it's a mini coupe. A mini coupe. <laughs> Got a little too cocky, aren't we? Fits like a glove, baby. Fits like a glove. We are back at the river walk in Savannah. And last night we found, we went into River Street, Candy Company and tried their pralines and we watched them make their saltwater taffy. So now we're going to go compare with the Savannah Candy Company, see who has the better saltwater taffies and we're actually going to buy them and try them because these taffies are actually made here instead of the ones in North Carolina and Maine where we were lied to. And <laughs> they were basically manufactured in Virginia or Utah and then shipped and we basically had the same saltwater taffy in both Maine and North Carolina from the same company. So let's go test it out and see what's the best. Savannah 
candy kitchen, we bought a very small bag of saltwater taffies and one turtle gopher. He gave us a bag big enough for me to live in. So, great. Guess we'll be shopping some more. All right, so this is a turtle gopher. It is... Pecans? Pecans. Pecans, caramel, and it either has dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or white chocolate. I went with the milk chocolate. Mm. Wow. That's good as it looks. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but... Glad I only got one. It's okay. What's it taste like? Chocolate, caramel, pecans? Pretty much. But it's like, I don't know, I expect it to be like harder. Mm. Um, the caramel's very like, yeah. It's a slab of caramel. Like a strudel? Kind of. I mean, it's good, but it's not. Nothing crazy. This is where I want to be. So if you come to Savannah, you should go to, well I don't want to tell you to do something, but a recommendation would be to go to Leopold's Ice Cream because they have over 7,000 reviews of like on Google with 4.7 stars and they're known for the lemon custard and the tutti frutti ice cream. So we got both and we're going to sample it now. Which one are we trying first? So I'm going to try the lemon custard first and I'm pretty bland when it comes to ice cream. I only usually get vanilla or like a salted caramel. So here we go. Wow. This is really good. It's definitely like a lemon sorbet, but creamy like a custard. Really good. I think you would love it though. I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. That's delicious. Right? It does. It's like a lemon creamsicle. Mm. That was the thing. Very, very good. Next one you could try first. Tutti Frutti, which is like an ice cream fruit cake. Mm. Mm. What's it like? I like that one better. This one? Has chunks of, um, you'll like it, nuts, almonds, maybe pecans, maybe walnuts, I can't really tell. And it's more of like a strawberry, raspberry, fruit loop flavor. But it's not as jam packed as like a fruit loop. But I definitely like the lemon better. It, that one's more like refreshing, whereas this one's just like super sweet. We also got the vanilla milkshake. Well, Taylor got it. I was, little, vanilla milkshake. I was a little skeptical because I was like, why are you getting a vanilla milkshake? But after having the, the signatures, I'm pretty pumped on the vanilla milkshake because, like I said, vanilla is definitely my favorite. Is there anything and there's you've like, come across in here? Yeah, there's like little like Jolly Rancher candy things. Not Jolly Ranchers, like, like a Starburst type sugar candy, so I'm not too pumped on that. But the nuts are where it's at. Also, check out this park that we're in right now. It's pretty cool. To the, pink, the old pink house. So who told you to go here? Terry Gilroy, my girl. Thanks, 
consider subscribing if you haven't already because on Tuesday we head further south to the last state of the East Coast road trip, which is Florida. We made it to Florida. Oh yeah.